There have been two deaths on area lakes this weekend. One man was killed tonight during a collision between two personal watercraft on Joe Pool Lake. And on Friday night, a man drowned when his boat capsized on Lake Louisville. More now on tonight's accident from Fox 4's Calvert Collins at Joe Pool Lake in Graham Prairie. Calvert. And Brandon Lake Creek Marina is still open a few hours after this fatal crash happened. We're told that this was a collision between friends, two men and two women. But 42-year-old Wayne Story of Irving died. Investigators tell me that this happened just after 5 o'clock when one jet ski T-boned another just outside the no-wake zone. They don't know what caused the collision, but witnesses said the driver who was hit went flying into the water. Police say an off-duty Dallas paramedic pulled Wayne Story into his boat and started CPR. Then Story went to Methodist Hospital of Mansfield, where he died. All four individuals did have life preservers on, but investigators say Story died from being hit by the propelled jet ski, not from drowning. What's unique about water, there's no right or wrong, there's no one way, there's no wrong way. So uh, listening to the witnesses, they were just doing what everybody does that gets on a jet ski, just driving around. We're not sure how the collision occurred other than it did happen. But as far as wrongdoing, do um, they were doing nothing different than anybody else on the lake was doing at that time. There is no speed limit on Texas lakes, but investigators don't know how fast the two jet skis were going when they crashed. They do believe they were very close. At this point, they say there is no evidence or drugs of drugs or alcohol. We're told that the four people involved do know each other from work and are being cooperative with police. As you mentioned, Brandon, this is the second boating fatality of the weekend, also the second fatality at Joe Pool Lake so far this year. Very sad. Now, of course, we've reported so many North Texas Lake have had have had low water levels. Do investigators think that this may have been a factor in all this? Well, they're saying not directly. In fact, they said there was a light boat traffic today. But because Joe Pool Lake does have enough water, the game wardens say that this is bringing out more boaters from other parts of the area and will increase traffic on the lake. But again, by all accounts, today was a fairly light traffic day. They think because of the weekend weather, a lot of people stayed home. But they fear a lot more boaters from all over North Texas will be coming to Joe Pool throughout the summer. All right, Calvert Collins reporting live in Grand Prairie. Thank you.